Welcome to The Secrets of Success. By following the proven techniques of the guests who appear on this series, you'll learn that even successful people run into detours and failures, and how you can apply their success techniques to change your life. You're now listening to the most unique show on radio, the show dedicated to making you a success. Barry Shaw says if you follow his advice, you can't fail. Barry, you're the man we want to talk to. How are you today? Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings and good looking people. Now, wonderful Bill, how can I make the categorical statement that all the thousands and tens of thousands of listeners to this remarkably wonderful show are all good looking? Because by definition, if they tuned in to learn these secrets of success, they're always looking for and finding the good. That's a good looking person, Bill, looking for and finding the good. You've definitely started us off on the right note, and I I see why you're so successful. Barry, you say in your book, The Joy of Living, and you tell us that there are three fundamentals that changed your life. What are they? So the book, of course, is titled The Joy of Living, How to Slay Stress and Be Happy. The three fundamentals of life for everybody are, number one, life. Your life has purpose. And as a result of that, number two happens. This is a good number two. As a result of that, when you lead a purpose-driven life, you can go mad. Now, in this case, MAD is a wonderful acronym, Bill. It stands for make a difference. Lead a purpose-driven life, and you make a difference in the world for yourself, for your family, your friends, and the entire world. And the third fundamental, we're going to have a lot of fun with this, is to uncover and unlock the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Most simple example, what we're doing right now. People listening all over the world, not just Nassau County, because it's on the internet. And if you ask anybody, what does WWW stand for? Invariably, they'll tell you it has to do with the internet, right? But in our world, Bill, the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, WWW stands for what a wonderful world. And what is a word? Thank And thank you to Satchmo Louis Armstrong for enabling that song to go viral and touch not just tens or hundreds, but of millions, but billions of people around the planet. Barry, we, you're definitely the right person to talk to because in the world we're living in today, and we keep hearing this word, but it, it, unfortunately it's so true. We have so much stress and you've already brought us out of that a little bit in the first minute or so of the show. But what is causing this for us? Because we, we really have so much, we should be, I think, more grateful and uh, not experiencing this stress. And yet we seem to be hitting it on every corner of the street. So, Bill, you are spot on, and it's important that everybody be listening today. If you're going to do something good for yourself, your family, your friends, make sure you share this particular episode with at least five people, because we're going to learn how to slay, reduce, mitigate, maybe even eliminate stress, and be happy at the same time. So let's look at something, Bill. You mentioned stress happens to be the most searched word on the internet outside of COVID or vaccine right now. But the interesting thing is, Bill, that even after COVID is gone and we're all out there partying again and sharing and fireworks and whatever, people will still experience stress because it's part of the human condition. So let's take a look at the word stress. I love working with words. Remember, uncovering the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Stress stands for stomach turning reality, enabling self sabotage. Ah! Do you know what happened? I lost my job. They, they, my, my mind lose the house. My cousin committed suicide. The kids are going crazy, not in school. The country's all upside, upside down. Now. They don't know what's happening. That's how most people either approach stress or feel it inside. But let's take a look at the same exact word, Bill, and build another way of looking at stress. Stress stands for stomach turning reality. Yes, you may have lost your job. You may lose the house. Your cousin did commit suicide. The kids are going crazy. They're not in school. And the country is in uproar. But enabling self-success. Because it's how you respond in any given situation that will determine 
your ability to succeed in life. This show is all about success, right? Exactly. Remember, stomach turning reality, no matter what the situation is, we'll give one about Barry Shore in just a moment, enabling self success. We're going to talk about right now the six most important words that anybody can learn to utilize, internalize, and leverage in your life. If you use these six words, you have gained an immense treasure just by listening to Bill and Barry today. And these six words are choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Choice not chance determines your destiny. How you choose to respond in any given situation will help you become the best you. And that's why you tuned in, right? It's not about Barry Shore. It's not about Bill Horan. He's great guys. Yeah. But it's all about you. We care about you. You care about you. You care about you more than you care about us. And that's the right way to do it. Because if you use the ideas and the advice that we're offering today, you will be happier, healthier, and wealthier. Who doesn't want that? Happier, healthier, wealthier? Bring it on, right? Yeah, I'm with you. Come on, so that's let's how go. we're going to slay stress by understanding it's how we respond to a situation. May I give a, a simple example of being Absolutely. A, a tough one? Imagine everybody standing up in the morning, hale and hearty, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, and that night be in the hospital totally, completely paralyzed. Yes. Not from an automobile accident, not a spinal injury, a rare disease that I never heard of the day before took over my body and rendered me what's called a quadriplegic. Nothing on my body moved. I was in the hospital 144 days. I was in a hospital bed in my own home two years. I couldn't turn over by myself. I was four years in a wheelchair. I had braces on both my legs, from my hips to my ankles. And that was progress. Thank God today I'm able to be vertical and ambulatory with the help of a seven foot walking wand made for me by a Zed master, but I still can't walk up a curb by myself. I can't walk up a stair by myself. I have helped 12 hours a day, seven days a week, but you hear my voice, positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. Why? It's all because of one word, Bill. One word has made the difference in my life and I share it freely with people. May I do so? The word is... Smile, smile. What are you talking about, Gary? How can you smile? Because smile stands for seeing miracles in life every day. <laughs> seeing miracles in life every day. Bill, before the pandemic hit, I would speak to groups, real human beings, one on one, you know, or large groups. So the last one before COVID was over 5,000 people in the audience. We told the story about Barry Shore. I talked about smiling, like people raising their hands and yelling out, Hey, Barry Shore, I've been up for hours where I haven't seen any miracles. And I asked them, Are you here? Can you hear? Can you see? Can you stand? Can you walk? Do you have water, drink, food, tea, place to sleep, family, friends? Every single one of those is a miracle. And what's the simple proof? The simplest proof is a million people didn't get out of bed this morning. Why? They died. If you're listening to this, by definition, you didn't. Therefore, you have an obligation to live exuberantly, which we'll be talking about throughout the show. The ability to grasp hold of life, life stands for living inspirationally for eternity, will bring you to seeing miracles in life every day. But I got to tell you a quick story once. I just remembered a couple of weeks ago, my eight-year-old niece comes over to me and says, Uncle Barry, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile, S-M-I-E-L? And I thought about, you know, this a smile, smile sounds the same. Why not? I asked her, how come? Because she says, because then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. It's an eight-year-old. But what was she doing? She was creating the kind of world she wants to live in, Bill. CREATE is a wonderful acronym that stands for Causing Rethinking, Enabling All to Excel. It's how you think about things. Isn't that right? It's the mind versus the mood, we'll say. Well, the children are always the best. We look at them. They don't care that it's raining and they don't get depressed. They just (laughs) go out and jump in a puddle. Now, we have to clean them up later on, but... They're enjoying and getting the most out of life. And Barry, I have to tell you, and to our audience, on the cover of your book, The Joy of Living, you have that, <clears throat> excuse me, that wand you talk about, that eight, what is it, seven foot stick? Seven foot wand. But it makes you look very biblical. And of course, with that, wisdom. We, we think of the word wisdom when we think of the Bible. And I see a man with a seven foot wand. He's either going to hit me and <laughs> knock me out or go for a home run, or he's a very wise man who is traveling through the earth 
with a message for all of us, and that's the way we see you. Well, when you see when you hear that, Bill, and, and Bill is sharing something, I urge everybody to go on the site. May I say the name of the, of the site? Oh, I, in fact, that's my next question. I want to, to <laughs> let me just let our audience know who they're listening to, and then I want you to give us that information. If anyone is just tuning in, they're listening to The Secrets of Success on the Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm your host, Bill Horan, but the person we're talking to today is the main person, Barry Shaw. His book is The Joy of Living. And Barry, now I'd like you to tell us if our audience has been listening or is looking, what is your website and where can we get the joy of living. We urge everybody to go to www, what a wonderful world, dot barryshore.com, B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E, barryshore.com. There is a large amount of free information that is going to enable you to live your life in such a way that you'll be happier, healthier, and wealthier. Guaranteed. So urge you to go there. By the way, Bill, what you said about the wand and such like that, there's a great word that a lot of people use when they hear something and say, wow, right? You've heard that. People say it throughout the day. Wow, wow. Wow is a great acronym. It stands for words of wisdom. Or there you go. Words of wonder. Because when you hear something that really shakes, you say, wow. Then you internalize it. It becomes part of you. Words of wisdom, words of wonder. That's what we're working with today. Wonderful words. Because we're going to urge people. We're going to talk about dog poop later in the show, Bill. <laughs> and we might even urge everybody to become a pothead. But we'll discuss that as we go along. Barry, you're making my notes a mess. I have three pages of notes on your book, and I'm writing so much down as you're talking that anybody looking at this page is going to say, like, where do you begin? Where do you stop? Where do you start? You were talking about joy before, and obviously everybody would say, would you rather be joyful or miserable? We want to be joyful. But there's a lot of benefits listed in your book, medically and life experience, that go along with the word joy. Can you tell us some of those that we get in life? With pleasure and delight. So let's first of all, joy is a wonderful acronym that stands for generating ongoing youth. That's what joy does, generating ongoing youth. Now, by the way, oftentimes when I'm speaking like this, people raise and say, hey, Barry, sure. Generating is not spelled with a J, it's spelled with a G. But hello, we talk about sound, not just the way it's spelled. So get out of your comfort zone and understand that joy is about generating ongoing youth. Now, I am going to pause it right now, Bill, and I think everybody listening will agree. We have a joy deficit in our country right now, maybe even the world, but certainly let's talk about us here in the United States of America. We have a joy deficit. We can move and shift into a joy surplus, and you don't have to print trillions of dollars to do it because it's up to each individual person. Now, by the way, that word shift is so important because most people, unfortunately, when they think of the word shift happens, they tend to drop the F. I don't know why it happens that way, but it's the word shift. You have to pronounce that F because if you don't, you're going to have something else happening. So <laughs> it shift happens into joy because joy allows you to be physically, mentally, and spiritually more resilient. And that's really what we need right now. Resilience is the watchword that I am urging people to be aware of and internalize it, utilize it, and leverage in your life. Because when we do this on an individual basis, we make a difference. I'm going to, we're, we're talking to a very educated uh, group on, because you talk about Nassau County and the, and the school. So I'm, I'm going to presume, and if they don't know, but I'm going to presume right now that people know about something called the butterfly effect. And the butterfly effect is supposedly, and this has been traced by scientists, so let's give them their due for the moment, migration of millions and millions of butterflies from the northern continent down to the southern hemisphere and on the, on the Andes Mountains. You see literally millions of butterflies against the wall of the mountains. And it's said that when a butterfly flaps its wings in the Andes, that motion can be felt around the world and add to a tsunami in Japan. Ah! That's a butterfly. Now think about a human being, a conscious, conscientious human being who chooses, remember, choice, not chance, determines your destiny, who chooses to live in joy, who chooses to have their thoughts in goodness, their speech in goodness, and their deeds in goodness. So now you're talking about the effect of a human being on the world, one 
person makes a difference. Remember, go mad, go make a difference, you lead a purpose-driven life. And those, are, by the way, can bring us into the three major tips for reducing, mitigating, maybe even slaying stress and being happy. Would you like to hear those three tips? And I, I definitely would. Three tips for being happier, healthier, and wealthier. Who doesn't want that? Tip number one, da -da -da -da, drum roll, fanfare, breathe, breathe. Come on, Barry Show. Of course I'm breathing. I'm not here for not breathing. Yes, we're talking about, that's regular breath. What we want to do is learn how to do what's called diaphragmatic breathing. Now, most people can't even spell diaphragm, let alone know where it is. So I just talk about tummy breathing. We want to learn how to breathe in through your nose deeply, what's called a conscious loving breath. Conscious loving breath. <sighs> in through the nose, deep into the tummy, and let it out slowly through the mouth. It takes about seven to eight seconds to do a breath like that. And we urge people to do that four times in a row, again, consciously and lovingly. So it takes about 28 to 32 seconds, and you will be calm. You will reduce, mitigate, maybe even eliminate stress, whatever the situation is. And we urge people to do this twice per day, once before noon, and once afternoon, again, it's going to take you all of half a minute. So if you do that twice a day, it takes a minute. And you learn how to make yourself calm and aware. And what a wonderful place to be. That was tip number one. Tip number two, da -dun, da -da, become a joy generator. Huh? What's a joy generator? Well, if you go to the website, www.barryshore.com, and you'll scroll down the homepage, you'll find a video that I produce about learning to become a joy generator. It takes 55 seconds to become a joy generator, Bill. And it only takes a couple of minutes to learn how to do it. And once you do it, you'll become a joy generator for your family, for your friends, and for all living beings. <laughs> Remember, that's what you're doing. You're generating joy throughout the world because there's nothing, nothing on the planet that can stop your energy. Nothing contains it. And when you start emanating it in a conscious, loving manner, you will become a joy generator. Do this twice a day. Again, once before noon, once afternoon, 55 seconds each time. You make a difference in life. You make a difference for you, for your family, your friends, and the world. And number three, this is a great one, Bill. You're going to love it. Maybe it's actually my favorite even though I can't really do it these days anymore because I'm, my waist down, I'm still a bit paralyzed. But number three is skip. Skip. Yeah, skip. Just like kids do. Remember you mentioned earlier about kids going out to play and running in puddles and getting dirty and such. Skip. So next time you're walking down the street, remember, walking is fun. Walking is wonderful. Running is great. But skip. Skip a block consciously, lovingly. And the best thing to do is to hold the hand of somebody else. If you can hold the hand of a six-year-old or a 56-year-old or a 96-year-old, it's even better. But skip at least once a day, hopefully twice a day. So these are three tips that if you use these, you will learn how to live in joy daily, no matter the circumstances. And I know about circumstances and stress, right, Bill? Having been a quadriplegic, if anybody, and you're so happy that you're exuding it to us, and I think it's hard to listen to you for more than about 30 seconds without picking up our, I guess, uh, joyful attitude and getting the right view of the world. Barry, um, throughout your book, you talk about being a victor rather than a victim. And I think that's so important today because we all feel like, what can we do about this? We can't, these are bigger problems, world problems. We'd like to have more water in Africa, more food in different countries, even not thinking of ourselves. But for our audience, I think that's such a saying that they could put up just looking at your book, The Joy of Living. If we can change our life from, even if it's 10% of being a victim to a victor, isn't that what we really all want? Absolutely. We love when we can shift. See, shift happens when you do it in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. You become a spiritual chiropractor, Bill. <laughs> so imagine shift. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people, when they say that word shift, they leave out the F for some reason. So you're going to emphasize the shift. Otherwise, Don't get us in trouble else. now. Right. <laughs> Matter of fact, we, we all know that we have a joy deficit at the moment. 
And we can, we can change that joy deficit into a joy surplus without printing trillions of dollars. And it all depends on something called dog poop. Dog poop, huh? What are you talking about, Barry Shore? Remember I talked to you about F-U, capital N, capital N. Now I know, you're poop. getting the sensors on me, come on. <laughs> dog poop is a great acronym that stands for doing of good, power of one person. That's right. Doing of good. When you're thinking good, speaking good, and doing good, you now are a joy generator, and that energy can never be destroyed, and it never be stopped. That's what you do. Now think about the power of one person. You can bemoan the world, but that's not going to help anything. You can become the world, and it will help everything. The power of one person, you make a difference. This whole show is built has built this over the years. It's a remarkably good show, Secrets of Success. That's really what SOS stands for, by the way. It doesn't stand for help. It stands for Secrets <laughs> of Success, right? That's a wow. Remember, wow, words of wisdom, words of wonder. So here we are talking about Secrets of Success. It's understanding that you make a difference. You, Barry, before we go further, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. I want to make sure our audience knows if they're just tuning in, you're listening to The Secrets of Success on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm your host, Bill Horan, but this man that you're listening to today, his name is Barry Shore. He's written a book, The Joy of Living. And if you're enjoying this and realize how simple some of these changes can be that can really make massive changes in your life, Barry, we want to ask you, one, where we can get the book, and two, if there's a website where we can learn more. Please go to Amazon, iBooks, or wherever books are offered. We're not doing it physically at the moment yet, but you can get a physical book from Amazon. It's very easy. And the website is www.whatawonderfulworld.barryshore.com. B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E, barryshore.com. And there's a free gift there. Lots of free gifts, actually. This free gift, I urge everybody to get $50 value, several three-minute videos that I do, and it's free. Do it. Use it. Enjoy it. Utilize it. Because you'll, then you'll become a pothead. How's that, Bill? Become a pothead. Now explain to our audience before you get me in trouble again. What is a pothead? Pothead is a great acronym that stands for power of thought, helping everyone achieve destiny. See, when you start thinking in good, speaking in good, acting in good, you align yourself that way. And you do it consciously and conscientiously, utilizing the 11 strategies for learning how to live in joy daily. That's what the book speaks about. 11 strategies, as Bill said, they're simple, they're practical, you have growth with action at the end of every chapter. These are doable. You'll do it for yourself because you care most in the world about yourself, which is great. You do it for your family. You do it for your friends. And the result will be you'll make a difference. People ask you, what's going on? You say, hey, Barry Shore taught me to say F you to the world, capital N, capital N. And he says, wow, words of wisdom, words of wonder, dog poop. Huh? And you'll create a conversation that will be positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. And that's how we're going to make up the joy deficit into a surplus, Bill. And if nothing else, you're going to cause a bit of a sir and a bit of people remembering what you're talking about because of some of those acronyms. Barry, you mentioned about journaling in your book. Why? What is journaling for those who don't know? And why is it beneficial to us? There are so many important things that you can do that are simple easy and fun, F-U, capital N, capital N. One of them is picking up something called a pencil or a pen. I know we're talking about digital natives, but picking up a pencil and pen, you can find it somewhere, and a piece of paper. Now, I prefer doing it in a, in a little notebook or something, just buy a little notebook, but just jotting down for no more than two to three minutes a day your thoughts. Where are you at the moment? Put a date and write something down. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you write three words saying, I don't know. That's all. Okay, fine. But once you start the process, after a few days, you'll start writing. You're going to want to write more, but try not to write for an hour one day and nothing for the next 10 days. Two to three minutes every single day, just write down some of your positive, purposeful, powerful, pleasant thoughts and watch it evolve over time. You will be happy that you do be happier, healthier, and wealthier. Who doesn't want that, Bill? The big three. We all want that. <laughs> Barry, you also mentioned in your book, 
Let your mind, not your mood, dictate who you are. And I love that part of it because so many of us, we react quickly. Somebody cuts us off or something goes wrong and we kind of blame the universe. But can you talk about how we can use that? And of course, the pothead, the power of thought coming into that. Absolutely. My pleasure. I urge everybody to utilize the two most powerful words in the English language three times a day, consciously and conscientiously. And these two most powerful words are, Bill... Drum roll, fanfare, da 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 da. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank stands for to harmonize and network kindness. The Dalai Lama has been quoted as saying, I read in his writings, be kind whenever possible. And it's always possible, he says. Imagine this, Phil, going back to our coffee shops. You walk in the coffee shop, you order your fancy latte for $5, and you sit down, somebody brings it, you say, thank you. You walk in the coffee shop, you order a fancy latte for $5, and nobody brings it to you. You go to the counter, they say, oh, I'm sorry, we're busy. We'll bring it to you a couple more minutes ago. And you still say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop, Bill, and it's raining out. Somebody holds the door open for you. You say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop, and it's raining, and somebody slams the door on you. You say, thank you. (laughs) You're stuck in traffic. You're late for an appointment. Somebody cuts you off. You say, thank Thank you. You You get up in the middle of the night, and you stub your toe, and it hurts. You say, Yes. Thank Thank you. you. (laughs) To harmonize and network kindness. Kind stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. Everyone, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind always. Connect in nature daily. And when you use these simple, practical tips and tools, you will be healthier, wealthier, and happier. Barry, these are all tips, and I love it that we can all start using, literally, I think, Uh, moments after we've read a couple of pages of your book. We don't have to get through the whole book, but if someone listening to the show can go out and do these things now and start saying thank you or using the power of their mind to advance what they, uh, where they wish to go in the world and what they wish to get out of it. Give us one final tip before we wrap up. Uh, 20 seconds. What do you want to tell our audience? I want to give Bill a huge hug in front of thousands of people. (laughs) I'm going to tell you what hug stands for. Hug stands for harmonizing unlimited giving. So when you hug somebody, harmonizing unlimited giving. Here we go, Bill. One, two, three. three. Big hug. (laughs) Go mad. Go make a difference. Yeah, the sound, our sound director is going to go crazy with the noises you're making, but you're getting your point across. Barry, once again, I'd like to let, leave our audience with the book is called The Joy of Living. It's by our guest today, Barry Shore. Barry, please tell us again quickly the website and where we can get the book. Please go to www.barryshore.com. B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E.com. There's lots of free information that will enable you to be happier, healthier, and wealthier. Uh, Barry, we want to thank you for making our day so much fun and giving us so much interesting information to take with us. I urge everybody to get hold of and read a copy of The the Joy of Living by our guest, Barry Shore. To our audience, you've been listening to The Secrets of Success on the Voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. I'm Bill Horan, asking you to please join us again next week at the same time when we will continue our journey to success.